Hello guys, what is up? Today I am redoing what if Goku to change his DNA. And uh, I said that I was gonna um, do a better, uh, you know, job of telling the story of this. So I'm gonna put a bit more detail as to what happened in between the years when Goku lived with Gohan. And I'm gonna be keeping uh, Grandpa Gohan alive just for the, the sake of the story. Uh, let's jump right in. So. Far away in the galaxy, tyrant in, a tyrant named Frieza is currently destroying planet Vegeta, and they send out their last hope, a Saiyan baby named Kakarot, but we call him Goku. When Goku lands in his pod, he's found by an old man named Gohan. Gohan finds Goku in a strange pod and chooses to adopt him. Of course, Goku was violent, but one day, an accident that made him nice uh, made him the Goku that we know and love. Fast forward three years and Goku starts showing strange signs that would scare Gohan. However, instead of just ignoring it, Gohan helps Goku focus and meditate and calm down because he would randomly exert huge amounts of power that would almost destroy the house. And in two years, uh, Goku gets down meditation and has learned martial arts from Gohan, picking everything up really fast. Goku at the age of 7 has discovered that he ends up in a strange world when he meditates long enough. He doesn't think much of it, but one day while he is overwhelmed in sparring against Gohan, he punches the air and uses the same attack he used on Chi Chi much earlier against Gohan. Gohan gets hit, almost gets hit by this, and says that they should stop fighting for the day. That night, uh, Goku decides to enter the same strange world again. While it took, um, while it was um, around nine o'clock, and Gohan already went to sleep, Goku sits in a crisscross position and enters his um, mindscape, and he starts meditating for twenty minutes. And as he enters, he will start floating. Uh, in a certain place that and he sees his entire body He sees his veins his heart his muscles So he can fly throughout his body and he tries touching the veins which are gl uh, glowing a, a strange blue light and that blue light is his key which he hasn't unlocked yet as he tries to touch it he flows through it and he literally passes through it like he's intangible then he tries again but uses key to touch it and when he touches it he feels a rush of power and it feels amazing and she he keeps uh, touching and this time he pours a bit of his own key into it which made him have that same feeling over and over and over again until he wasn't able to feel it anymore and decided eh, I'll just go back to sleep when the next day he wakes up, he sees the sun shining in his face, but it's shining too much. It's as if he's outside, and when he looks around, his house is destroyed. Gohan standing over him is mad, and uh, Go uh, Goku uh, is about to apologize when he stands up. <clears throat> sorry, he starts bursting with key and can't control it, and it's creating this gust of wind everywhere. Gohan knows what this is and decides that before they start training it, they will have to rebuild the house. Also, in this timeline, Gohan realizing that Goku transforms into an ape won't just tell him to, you know, not look at the moon. He told him he's, that he's gonna cut off his tail, and he keeps doing it over and over and over until the tail doesn't grow back anymore. And in the original, Gohan didn't know that Goku could transform into an ape. And he, he, I think he witnessed it uh, once before he got killed, but Gohan got killed in his sleep. So I'm, I'm just gonna, that's why I changed it that way. So time skip about four years. Goku is now 11 and has been practicing and entering that world again and again and has gotten better at controlling and entering it. This means that Goku has also discovered that he can change every aspect of his body. He still hasn't told Grandpa Gohan, Gohan just thinks he's a genius, I mean, he is, but he's growing a little too fast. He has increased his muscle mass and strength by 
you know, pouring a bit of heat into his muscle fibers and increased in so much, so much in ability. And that includes the brain because Gohan did say, they tell uh, Goku that you must work every muscle and you can't be lacking in any part. So the brain as well as well as the muscle. So Goku focused on it as well. So he's not exactly like super smart, but he is wise and he can pick things up faster. So he's not dense. He knows what's going on. He knows how to read a room. He's smarter than Vegeta already. You know, he's all of that. Um, okay, one day uh, while he is dragging a fish back home, he sees a weird guy, a guy standing on a carpet. And he's completely black. He almost looks like charcoal. And Dragon Ball Z's like Mr. Popo is just it's it's so racist. But it's Toriyama and it was the old days, so nobody ever really said anything. I just wanted to mention that. So um Goku is on guard and asks who this strange man is, and Mr. Popo says, I'm Popo and what's your name? Goku tells him that there is no way he would tell his name to a stranger. Papa, who doesn't have time to talk, knocks out Goku and goes back to Gohan. Who Papa read? Uh, Mommy told him. To And Corey might have told them about who lives above them if they use the staff. So I'm just, I'm just gonna say that. And Gohan knows, but he says that there is no way he's letting Goku go by himself. He says that if he goes there by himself, he's not gonna trust any of you. It's better to have me over there. So at least I can convince him if you guys want to help him or whatever. And Popo obviously agrees, and he steps on the carpet after grabbing the power pole and. Uh, a few clothes and the Dragon Ball. As soon as he steps on the carpet, next thing he knows he's in the sky and can barely breathe because of the sudden change in altitude. And Goku also wakes up because he can barely breathe and now they have a bit of control and uh, they look. he looks behind to see Popo and gets in guard again in a fighting stance and Kami says, calm down, we're not gonna hurt you. Goku looks back to see a strange green man. And the green man says, come on in. And that's actually where I'm gonna end it off. Um, I wrote the third and um, second and third part for this as a redo. So it'll be coming like rapid fire. I don't even have to actually work on it every day. And I hope you guys uh, like this. I. I really, I really want to redo the story because back then when I did it, it felt so lazy that even if you wa like watch it, you know that I'm spewing bullshit. <laughs> so, yeah, please comment, uh, like, subscribe, and we're we're almost there, almost there. Just, just, just 30 more subscribers. Come on, guys, we can do this. Um, until next time.